hi everyone today we're going to install hyperion 8 golden master final now uh, the earlier video about hyperion was about the hyperion 8 pre gm this one is the complete gm and the final version so for this you need two zip files one is the rom zip file and the second one is the ril fix which is has something to do with the kernel and the ram disk i cannot really go into detail but yeah download the two zip files into your sd card and then power off your phone And once the phone shuts down, you need to boot into recovery mode by holding the home button, the power and the volume up at the same time. Now if you happen to be on the stock recovery like me, you need to boot into Coco mode recovery. So for this, choose supply update from SD card and look for the CWM zip file. You can download the zip file from the link in the video description in case you don't have it. So there we go, you're in Coco mode recovery. So once you're in recovery mode, you need to first of all head into mounts and storage and just make sure that everything is mounted, especially system. Go back. Now after that, head into advanced. Now from here, choose wipe DAWIC cache. And now after that, you also may want to wipe battery stats, but I'm just gonna skip that, it's optional. Now, once you're back to the main menu, choose wipe data. Choose yes to confirm. After that, choose wipe cache partition, choose yes once again to confirm, and you are done. Basically now after this, you just need to choose install zip from SD card, then choose it from SD card, and now locate the Hyperion zip file. So this one is the ROM, as you can see, Hyperion 8 GM final, and the GM RAL is the fix. So first of all, you need to flash the ROM, so choose first the ROM. So this could take a few seconds, but it should be done fast. And there we go, it is done. As you can see, now once again, choose zip from SD card, select that. And now head into the Hyperion 8 GM RIL fix. Choose yes to confirm this one as well. And there we have it, we are done. Now go back to the main menu and choose your boot system now. Now we have just wiped data, we have just wiped the DAW cache, this is a fresh new ROM and once again as usual it takes a while to boot, so just be patient and don't panic. I'm gonna fast forward through the booting process and just gonna slow down at the boot animation then I'll be back at the setup screen. And here we are finally at the setup screen. So choose your language, then tap on the little Android guy. Basically the same old setup process. So once the ROM is set up, this is what you get. So let's start off with the walk screen. As you can see, you've got this Ego logo here. This is the logo of the ROM. There are also add-ons in which you can change this logo on the walk screen. So that's pretty cool. You can change it to other kinds of images. And this is the launcher. As you can see, it's using the TouchWiz icons at the bottom on the dock. It seems like a modified TouchWiz launcher, definitely a modified TouchWiz launcher. These are the status bar icons, as you can see a blue battery. I currently don't have my SIM card in inserted, so yeah, the signal bar I cannot really show at the moment. Then we've got, these are the default widgets. You got a clock and the Android guy here, which guides you. As you can see, this text here also has been modified, but I'm not gonna read all of that at the moment. And this is our notification screen, as you can see here, the quick settings, the toggle buttons. They are actually quite small and uh, quite hard to read, but yeah, you can see this is the Wi-Fi, the mobile data, and so on. I'm just gonna turn on the Wi-Fi. As you can see, the color changes from white to blue when turned on and off. So let me start off by listing the uh, the highlights, so let's start off, this ROM is rooted, it has BuzzyBox, it is the Orex, the AP key files are zip aligned, it has init.d support, 
It has lots of it has lots of customization features added to it, so you can change a lot of things, and of course many more under the hood changes. And so lastly, we were at the notification screen here. So like I said, this is what you get. The notifications should appear here. We're gonna take a look at these things in just a bit. Let's take a look at the shortcut to the settings. As you can see, they are with a transparent background and also tapped. Let's take a look at what we have on the app driver. Now as you can see the icons here are also changed. Some of them kind of look like the touch with five icons. But yeah, as you can see, the bloatware seems to be removed. You barely have one page and uh, only three more apps on the second page with apps. Super SU, the Google settings, basically the most needed, the camera, the FM radio, the Play Store, the music player, memo, and so on. And if you open up an app, you can see how it has been given the changes, the touches of the uh, dark transparent background and look. Same for the music player, it kind of looks, it looks cool actually when you look at it. So yeah, let me just try to play something and I'm gonna take a look and see how it appears on the notification screen. So for example, let me start this. As you can see, a nice background, I love music. And this is basically what we get here. And you also get the uh, Beats logo here on the status bar, as you can see. This is from the sound mode, I suppose. Next, let us take a look at the power menu. So this is what you get. The icons here are colorful, surprisingly. And uh, you have a shortcut to data mode here, so that's good. Let's take a look at the dialer. As you can see, it has the hollow ice cream sandwich look. These are for the recent cows here. Let's take a quick look at the contacts as well. So yeah, this is what it looks like, kind of like on the recent uh, cows list. I currently need to import contacts and so on, so I cannot really do that. Then we've got the SMS, the messaging. Let's take a look at the keyboard. So the keyboard seems to be remain untouched. As you can see, we still have the default Samsung look on it. And these are the default wallpapers which come with the ROM. As you can see, this is the first one, which is the uh, raindrops on a sort of glass. This is the default which you get. And then we've also got some other cool wallpapers here. Sorry about that. Let me just show you real quick all of them. So yeah, they're basically uh, four or five wallpapers, I believe, just four wallpapers. The browser, as you can see, also kind of remains untouched. It just has been given a blue loading bar here. Everything else appears to be quite the same. And now finally, we're going to take a look at the settings and customizations, something probably most of you have been waiting for this, this whole video. So, okay, on the first tab, we have the default settings, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and more. They are divided, as you can see each to their own category everything is divided this privacy just uh, was curious but yeah okay let's head into about phone as you can see the software update button here is unavailable to touch and here we've got our basic information let me just see if there is an easter egg we've got the neon cat So let's take a look at the second tab. And so here we've got the owner profile in which you can set your name and you can also set your profile picture. Next we've got sound effects which is for the audio as you can see. So I can change the loudness here, the bass and so on. And as you can see this is also tapped so you have lot more options here for the bass boost. And you also have for the Bluetooth devices which you may connect, such as a Bluetooth speakers or whatever. Next we've got for the interface options, this is for the status bar, the first one. So from here I suppose you change the battery icon from a, from a little jar into, for example, a, a percentage or text or whatever. As you can see we've got battery options the same old options, then we've got clock options and the signal, you can either have it an icon or you can have it displayed as text then you've also got quick panel toggles and so from here you can change their order, you should be familiar with this with pretty much any ROM that has the Libdroid toggles for example now if I go into order here as you can see the Wi-Fi is first now if you want something more like uh, toggle walk screen for example something more useful to be on the number one or number two you can drag this up to the top 
exit and as you can see we've got the walk toggle here first so yeah it is working as you can see next we've got CPU settings which I believe looks like the no free CPU control app you can just basically change the frequencies here and whatnot next we've got the CPU states which is CPU spy lastly here we've got developer tools which is for testing purposes and other kinds of things as you can see and lastly we've got network unwalker now this is for the people whose Galaxy Y may be walked to a certain network so yeah, I can use this tool here to remove the carrier walks and everything else but yeah use this only if your phone is walked mine isn't so this is useless for me but it is useful for other people and lastly We've just got an information here in which your screenshot can appear and your name here also. So this is a cool feature. And as you can see, it shows the available RAM. Um, it also shows the CPU frequency, but it is, it is in minus. This is kind of weird. Anyways, I forgot to, to show you the task manager as well. So this is the task manager screen. Let me just clear that memory. So as you can see the ROM is light, has a lot of things cleaned and I would also like to point out that this ROM is missing the AOSP walk screens and the extended power menu simply because the developer thinks they are kind of useless to be added and finally a ROM that has swipe to remove notifications now as you can see I have the notification here I can swipe and it is gone so yeah that's also cool and that is all. That covers the Hyperion 8 installation and quick preview video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And once again, everyone, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.